Hi, this is Energy Tech Media with a crude demonstration, kind of proof of concept uh, machine here for compressing air. As you can see, uh, it's a converted bicycle that's been attached onto this just a wooden platform and uh, hooked up here. This is a, an air cylinder, uh, like a specially made air cylinder. Uh, it's not designed to compress air, but I've modified it to do that. These are just check valves here that allow air to come in from uh, each side. So it's like a double acting cylinder. So we've got, um, as this thing here uh, reciprocates, it's gonna pump air through these tubes through another check valve and through the bottom here through this tube uh, both going into this uh, air tank which is just made out of this is just these are just PVC four inch PVC end caps and a coupler here uh, just glued together and, uh, and this is a gauge here which doesn't have very good resolution but Anyway, it sort of tells a story of what's going on here. So this machine I built just to kind of embody the idea of using, well, I've been inspired by Milkovich and his pendulum machines. Uh, so this is just to show, give a physical difference between, see if I, most machines, Actually, every machine on the market and conventionally uses some sort of a direct drive. So when I manually push up and down on here to try to pump air into the cylinder, I can do it with a fair bit of effort. It takes my almost all the strength in my arm to do that. Uh, here just to show you try to do it with just my finger and you can see it's barely moving yeah I can't move it so let's try this instead let's try just rotating this weight here so what this is these are I've attached four steel plates onto here they're about uh, 0.8 kilograms each so that's about 3.2 kilograms in total mass here attached onto this wheel so as it turns what I'm going to do is just use my finger again. You can see how I get that guy going just with my finger. I'm just going to build up speed here. Of course this needs to be Refined in its design. So I'm just using my finger. See that? That's all I'm using, just my index finger. And this is just a little girl's bike. So if I was using a larger size adult's bike, that a lot there'd be a lot more radius on here, which means a lot more centrifugal force. It'll get it going again. And you can see over here what's happening. See that thing moving? It actually takes a fair bit of effort. See, I'm just using my finger here. 
keep that mass going around and around and around. And just again to show you, I'm going to try again with my finger to cause this piston to, to reciprocate. Down, up, down, up. And this is, a, by the way, this is a, I think that's a two inch, maybe I'm wrong, a two inch PVC pipe. And inside a uh, piston was machined out of uh, PVC plastic with a couple of O rings on it. It was made out of college by uh, mechanical engineering students for a project. So it's kind of crude, but kind of does the job. Anyways, so here's the air tank. Let's see. You can probably hear the, the hissing noise. So that's the air that's been compressed in there. Let's try that again. I'll just do a few pumps with my hand here. I'm using my whole arm to do that. Okay, that's about as much as I can give it, unless I use my whole body. But you can hear the air coming out. So I got a little bit in there. Once again, do it like this. Apologize for the quality of this video. I'm just using my smartphone right now, and uh, I am not definitely not a professional film producer. See, just using my finger. That thing going up and down, pretty good. have to operate within the limits of this crude machine. I mean this thing flexes and this flexes here. So if I had a good steel frame it'd be way better. Hear the air coming out now. <laughs> 